Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So yeah, today we're on an adventure and I'm in Cumbria, the Lake District. So what I thought I'd do while I'm in the Lake District, I'd do some videos for everybody showing you the Lake District and all the towns and the places to visit. So today we're in Cockermouth, yeah? So William Wordsworth was actually uh, born in Cockermouth and, and actually lived here as well. So so if you don't know who William Wordsworth was, he was actually a poet. So there is a museum actually here all about William Wordsworth. Also, there's got the River Derwent running through, which was flooded in 2009. And believe it or not, the whole of the town was actually flooded. I'll put some photos on later about it as well. So keep watching it and you'll see all the little uh, photos of when it did flood. But 2009, it didn't seem five minutes ago. Behind me, I've got the town hall. So what we're going to do, we're going to take you for a little walk through. If you've been here before, I hope it brings back a lot of memories for you guys. If you haven't been here before and you're thinking of visiting the place, I'm going to show you what's here and all the restaurants, all the hotels and all the bars as well and all the shops. Yeah, but before we go, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell for all my new videos that's coming up because there's lots coming up and I've done lots as well in the past. And also, if you do like it, give me that thumbs up because it does help me. So let's go on that wonder. Let's go on that adventure. So let's go. Here we go. A new place, a new home for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man passing by, life is good. Right, so what we've done, we've uh, parked up in the car park and uh, we're going to take you for a walk through Cockermouth itself. So, yeah, we're in Cumbria. Uh, the Lake District, so we're not too far from the lakes. Uh, so if, you, if you're new to the channel, I'll be doing uh, quite a bit of the Lake District and staying in a few of the hotels. But uh, this place is actually famous for uh, William Wordsworth, the uh, poet. So we're, what we're going to do, we're going to take you down and uh, have a look at where he used to actually uh, to live and where he was actually born. Find my way. I found my way. So actually Cockermouth is actually famous for the rivers. So a few years ago, I can't remember exactly the date, but it actually flooded and actually uh, one of the bridges got swept away and uh, people were stranded and actually couldn't get anywhere. Uh, due to the uh, bridge disappearing and it took weeks and weeks and weeks to get it all sorted out. But yeah, so this is the famous town of Cockermouth. Quiet little place, uh, a lot of tourism. There's quite a lot of hotels here as well. <laughs> yeah, so we just noticed this as we was walking past as well. So it's actually an old police station. Uh, it's been actually turned into a barn. It's actually called Coppers. So yeah, a little bar called Coppers. Yeah, there's a, uh, a plaque up there, uh, police station, 90, 1894. Right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna walk you through the town, showing you what Cockermouth is like, actually like. So they've actually got the black bull pub over the road there. So yeah, there's loads of restaurants and uh, takeaways as well. If you stay in a hotel and you don't want to eat in the, ho eat in the hotel, there's uh, all these places to visit. Yeah, so got some nice little tea rooms, little coffee shops as well. So yeah, you can sit on this side of the road having a nice coffee. Yeah, just a nice little town. So this is a Friday, so uh, but the weekend it goes absolutely yeah, crazy with all the tourism uh, in, in the town. So you've got a bank over there as well. If you need any money out. Yeah, it makes change come to the uh, Lay District and it's not actually raining as well, so we uh, it's nice weather, it's just actually warm. So this looks like it's all been uh, done up. 
just just recently. So yeah, it was on the news quite a few years ago with the, uh, the when we had the bad storms and the floods, and uh, I say all the bridges were swept away as well. But uh, today it's not raining. Makes a change, doesn't it? Eh? England this time of the year. I've got another uh, pub over the road there, look, called The Bush. This is mayo, this is. So yeah, I've got Earl and Mayo. I just see the history there. Earl Mayo. Right, so I've just found this little place down here, like a little courtyard with a few shops in it. So we'll take you down here and have a look, so see what's happening. But yeah, another pub as well. We've got Fletcher's Christian in there. Yeah, lots and lots of pubs. Some tea rooms. We're all having afternoon tea there, look. <laughs> Crikey, music shop. You don't see many music shops about lately, do you? And we've got a Wilco. I'm not sure if Wilco's closed down yet here. I think it does look like it's actually open. Also vintage shop there as well. He looks happy, doesn't he? Fletcher Christian. So, uh, and anybody knows any history about Fletcher Christian? Put it in the comments below. It's got like a toy shop over there. We'll have to look at the toy shop on the way back. Right, so we're just going to go across the road and uh, take you to Wordsworth House. So we'll show you where William Wordsworth was actually born and lived. Yeah, so I'm not sure if it's actually open. It's a uh, like little shop there. Wordsworth House and Garden, so I wonder if you actually go round the other side to get into it. Yeah, so this is the famous William Wordsworth House, where William Wordsworth was actually uh, living and born. It's open Saturday to Wednesday. Yeah, you can go for a tour round, but I've just been told it's uh, open Saturday to Wednesday only. Don't know why, when there's all these people here. This is the river that runs straight through the middle of Cockermouth. I'm not sure what the river is. Is it the Derwent? It could be the River Derwent, believe it or not. But yeah, very fast flowing. But yeah, there's actually floodgates on the uh, as you walk through from the town. So yeah, they must have all flooded this place. Has. Yeah, so I've got a little toy shop here. It's called the toy shop. So yeah, it looks a really nice little toy shop, this does. So if you've got the kids here and they want some toys, let's bring them here. I've got canoes there as well, so if you want to buy a canoe, a blow up canoe to uh, go on the river. I don't know if you're allowed to. Right, so found this little place as well. So, not sure. Yeah, this is the history wall apparently down here. So it's got all the history on this wall that tells you about Cockermouth. Yep, Cockermouth history wall. Yeah, as you see, I've not been here before, so it's, this is all new to me as well. So this tells you all about Cockermouth. And who actually uh, lived here and what they used to do. Ah, there's the Fletcher Christian. So there's a pub across the road. Mutiny on the Bounty. 
John Dalton. Yeah, so the Derwent Mills. So we've just been near the Derwent Mills, and oh yeah, here's the uh, 2009. God, it didn't seem it didn't seem five minutes ago when that was it. But check out that photo of the town where we're walking through now, all underwater, and uh, all that as well. So yeah, you wouldn't want to be here when it was like that, would you? Traveling at a speed of 25 knots. Crikey, 25 knots. So there you go, history wall. Nice uh, buildings as well, opposite. If you're passionate about nails. <laughs> Are you going to go and get your nails done, Abby? No, thank you. No, thank you. I might go and have mine done. <laughs> yeah, so you've even got a little fish and chip shop there, yeah? yeah. So Main Street Fisheries. Okay. Like an ice cream parlour as well. To the crossing. Yeah, got the, all these little uh, little shops. So a lot of these little shops have actually disappeared in some of the towns where this is actually still uh, thriving with all the little shops. So uh, uh, good luck, you know, they're doing really well hopefully. And hopefully they will be staying open for a lot longer. So yeah, look at the cross away there, that's a uh, Allinson's uh, uh, chemist drugstore. So that looks like that's been there a long, long time. But yeah, you saw the photo of the floods and all this was actually flooded in 2009, but uh, not today, thankfully. <laughs> also got another hotel across the way there, the Globe Hotel. So yeah, there's loads of places to actually stay here. And uh, let's say loads of places to eat as well. So you've got Indians, you've got Italians, you've got fish and chips, and you've also got all the yeah, pub foods as well. So a lot of, I think a lot of people must come and stay here and use it as a base uh, to uh, visit the Lake District. So it's not too far away from everywhere. So we're just right for visiting the uh, the Lake District. Also, you've got uh, Whitehaven. It's only down the road as well. It's probably about 15 miles down the road. So yeah, about 15 miles from the sea. Yeah, say so loads of hotels and they've uh, got bamboo restaurant across the way. Uh, castle bar. So the castle must be, 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 must be round here somewhere. I'm thinking it must be behind all these buildings because uh, just, just not far back there is Castle Gate. So obviously it's uh, around here somewhere. But yeah, it's a uh, Friday afternoon, not, not very busy. So I suppose on a Saturday afternoon and a Sunday, I, you probably get a lot of people uh, visiting then and there's a lot of people at work still there aren't they so yeah we've got castle antiques across the way as well so yeah must be i like these seats though these are all like old uh, seats off old tractors so yeah there is some nice little touches that people have done for the place castle salvage All, the, all these different coloured houses, it reminds me of Cornwall a little bit. All these small houses and the small uh, roads as well. So yeah, not a very big town at all. Right then everybody, hope you've all enjoyed that little wander round Cockermouth. Really beautiful place it is. When the sun's out, I bet it's absolutely smashing. Not a lot of people about today. It is a Friday, so Saturday and Sunday, I bet it's absolutely packed, jam solid. Yeah, so what we did, we walked around all the town, showing you where all the hotels are and the bars and restaurants. So if you're thinking of coming to Cockermouth, if you've never been before, check out all those hotels on my video and give them a call, get booked in. Also, we're not too far uh, from the, uh, the lakes itself and not too far from the sea. So Whitehaven is just down the road as well. So it's like central this is to go to everywhere. 
so hope you enjoyed that anyway right so before we go if you'd like what you see please hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell for all my new videos coming up and if you like the video give me a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video so we'll see you soon